very proud to be here today uh, to commemorate volunteer Martin Doherty, a very brave young Dublin man who gave his life for his friends and his comrades in 1994 uh, and to see so many people here, here today to honour him. Um, his name really belongs with the men and women of 1916, of the Tan War and the Civil War and of the, the, the most recent phase of the struggle and uh, we're here to not only to remember him but also to rededicate ourselves to the achievement of a democratic socialist republic to which he was dedicated. I'm here today with du the Dublin Republicans to remember with love and pride, with great and brave son of Finglas, an IRA volunteer, Martin Doc O'Doherty, who gave his life in order to protect those of us who were the Widow Scallons back in that fateful night in May 1994. And remember that we remember him with dignity and pride. I also think it's, it's not ironic that we remember him here today on Eddie Fullerton's anniversary, who's a Sinn Féin councillor in Donegal, who was killed just before the local elections of 91. And in both cases, of Martin Doherty and Eddie Fullerton, there's serious questions to be asked about the level of collusion between the British state and those loyalist forces who carried out both attacks. And we're here today to remember Martin, to remember Eddie, to remember all our Republican comrades who've died, but also to look forward to building on the, the peace process, to building on recent gains by Sinn Féin, to make sure that we do have a united Ireland, we do deal with the whole victims issue, and we do build an economy that serves everybody in this island, from Dublin to Derry, from Galway to Kerry, and provides cradle to the grave healthcare, education and housing. We we'll continue to remember our, our brave, proud, Republican dead. We will continue to struggle. We will no longer be marginalised, censored or imprisoned. We'll, those days are over and we're going to continue to struggle for a democratic socialist republic. I remember 94 also marked the European election when Larry O'Toole stood for election. And I remember after the, the, the Sunday, uh, the Saturday night was the, the attack which unfortunately took Martin's life. And then it was the next day, I think we had a, we had a protest outside the Widow Scallons, because Republicans knew there was collusion at hand. Loyalists might have pulled the trigger. Who bought the gun? Where was the gun imported from? Who armed the Loyalists? Who allowed them over the border? They were the questions we wanted answered. We had a big protest outside the Widow Scallons. We went on to fight the European election. And in that election, we got, I think, about 9,500 votes, if my memory serves me right. 9,500 votes. And I think it's ironic. It shows the growth of Sinn Féin, despite the harassment of state forces against us. When the next, local, next European election, Sean Crowe got 18,000. The next election, Mary Lou got 60,000. That was a steady growth of Sinn Féin over the years. The peace process, our strategy, our politics was right. And the government were running scared from us. And since then, we 14 TDs elected, three senators, we're in government up the road, 90 miles from here. We're challenging British rule. We're challenging the misrule of this government. And they know it. I see the Taoiseach and Tarnishta squirming in their seats when Gerry Adams and when Mary Lou MacDonald gets up and questions them. I remember many years ago, Quiveen was talking about a Rochtus report and he said, maybe rightly or wrongly, it's for alcoholics and insomniacs. But now I think many of us watch a Rochtus report with pride when we see our leadership taking on the Free State Government and challenging them for all the cuts and the attacks on our communities. And that's what they're scared of. That's why they don't want truth and reconciliation. That's why they don't want a peace process. Because we, our voice will be heard, people will turn to us as they are in growing numbers, they'll be electing us, and they will be creating a political force of change, north, south, east and west. And that's the task at hand, friends.